this game is worth re-watching. Part one goes up on Morteo today. Um, but I will give a recap if you don't want to bother. Our name is Ule. And it starts with our sister, uh, Lillemur, going uh, out in the middle of the night through the window. And we're like, oh my god, mom told us never to do this. And then we go out the window to search for her. We find her, uh, and then we slip down a big mountain. She gets grabbed by a big troll and walks away uh, with, uh, with, with, with Lilamul, her sister. And so we have to find her. And um, there's these... And the, the game's about Nordic... Um, uh, f folklore. Nordic folklore. And uh, throughout it, we're meeting different uh, villains that are in Nordic folklore, uh, which, which I have a book about here. So every now and then I open this book and <laughs> read to you some details they're not giving us. Um, and there's, and I cry. I cried yesterday a couple times. It's a really beautiful game. And um, really sad at times. And um, we're just looking for our sister. We've just uh, finished with Skuksroet. Uh, which is, uh, we're about to find a book in the game to read about her, but we've just finished her. She was this beautiful, fit girl with a heart in an open wound that we stabbed. She was beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and she floated. <laughs> she was a really nice design. Um... Yeah, I can recommend watching part one, even if you watch this, guys, because it's a... I don't think that, like, it's a kind of game where you're like, Oh my god, I'm spoiled! Like, it's just a very beautiful experience, so, um... Recommend you watch part one when it goes up on Mortio today. Um, it's a very cozy, scary, emotional journey. A lot of Swedish references, a lot of Swedish... There's a Swedish song that plays, and I'm not gonna spoil, it'll probably, it'll probably play it again, but... Uh, yeah, I cried a couple times so far. It's a, it's a really good game. I'm really enjoying it so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, the girl, she was naked. Yeah. We saw a naked girl on Twitch. I know. I know. Anyway. Um, was I top left? Was I top left when we played? No, I was top right, wasn't I? You lie, I was top right. First you were top right, then you switched for some reason. Oh. Well, we'll find out. Hey Marco, I was wondering if you'd make it. Okay, so we've just... Defeated Skuksroet, the beautiful naked lady. And now we've found this church with this woman. Interesting. Oh, yeah, and um, the swamp witch. And then there was, um... Oh, yeah, there was, um... Um... Oh, yeah! Okay, yeah, there was, um... Uh... A swamp witch... Who, um... She convinces... All the... All the maidens... The... The... The moms... To sacrifice their babies. And we were trying to stop one. We defeated the... Swamp bitch. And then we were trying to stop one who was going to sacrifice her baby, but we couldn't do it in time. It was very sad. Um, yeah, and then we started stabbing the face of the beautiful woman, just like a king in a story who was 
trying to find some drugs to revive his wife or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, there, there was a lot. There was a lot. Anyway, we're looking for our sister. Oh, I meant to hold it in. Oh. Oh yeah, it's to uh, it's for his son who was sick. That's what it was. We're draining her blood? No? What are we doing? Oh, a key. Thank you. Hold on, I want to explore. So why can I look at this? This is weird. Oh! Collectibles. Straffet. Uh, straffet väntar hädaren och prygel dårens rygg. What the fuck does prygel mean? Any Swede? Oh, to club. Oh, flogs or whips. Yeah. Yeah 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 Feels so weird to hear you speak Swedish, I forget you have a Swedish accent. Or a st oh a Stockholm accent? Yeah. I mean Swedish. Yeah, I get that. Don't you live in the south, Karin? I feel like you've said that before. <clears throat> so I imagine my accent is very different from yours. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if you were a skunks. Skomsk accent is very, very strong and weird. <laughs> Sorry. Won't happen again. What the fuck is happening here? Where am I meant to go? Oh, I meant to go around. What's going on here? Are they eating the bodies? Why are we suddenly dealing with cannibals? For those who are like, what the fuck is this? I don't know what's going on either. This is the uh, this is some new thing. I don't know why they're eating the bodies. Or they're like ripping through them, maybe? Uh oh. What does the book say? Well, I don't know... I don't know what I'd be looking into in the book. Are there undead in Swedish folklore? Well, like zombies? <laughs> not that I know of, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'm not gonna read the book before I know, because that'll spoil, you know? I'll read after. Some sort of windmill or something? I don't know. Ooh! This is about, uh, I've been waiting for the book about, uh, beautiful lady. Once Here we go! Why'd you pause? Why'd you pause? A village near a great forest. One night, people began to see a beautiful woman 
with long dark hair lurking in the shadows during the full moon. Men started to follow her into the forest. Some of them never returned, and those who did had lost their minds. Eventually, the villagers had enough. They took all the dark-haired women of a certain age and put them on trial for witchcraft. They started to execute them, hoping to find the right one. Yet men kept disappearing during full moon nights. This guy's just way too horny. The way he's running past all these women who have been hanged. It's like, ah. Oh, okay, she wants me to come with. We, um, we went under a tree with uh, these women hanged. point how are these men so dumb no this is definitely honestly i wouldn't put it past humanity for this to happen today if a lonely man has a beautiful woman approach and he's like come with me or she's like come with me he could walk past all kinds of atrocities and he'd just keep going <laughs> men this is men this is men <laughs> so the villagers grew more and more desperate and burned down a large area of the forest in the hope of finding this strange This is definitely men. We see this kind of shit no today. Avail. Didn't you see that clip in, um, I don't know what country it is, but men weren't allowed in like a university or something that were for women only. So they all like flocked and like thousands of them were protesting and they all just rushed the university because they were mad they couldn't go in and creep on the girls there or something this is this isn't far from 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 men today uh, yeah i don't remember what country it was but like it was so bad that they banned men from i think it was india yeah uh they banned men from entering this place and then they all got so pissed that they all just rushed the gates like and there's a video of it and it's just like hundreds and hundreds of men like Whoa! and they're just rushing um, yeah, 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 so this, this, this is just real. The villagers had lost themselves. They killed their own mothers and daughters. They burned down more of the forest that had served them with resources. Then one night, when the moon shone at its brightest, Five brave men took matters into their own hands. They put on their coats and walked into the burnt forest to hunt for the woman with the dark hair. After a time, they saw the beautiful woman standing in a clearing. The men were instantly enchanted and followed her deep into the forest's heart. She was a shapeshifter that mimicked what men wanted to see in order to lure them away. When they were close enough to touch her, she transformed into something monstrous. You know, I mean, I was perplexed. I was by her as well. Yesterday I was really sad that I was stabbing her to death. Look, she was evil all along. She ripped their chests open hung them up in the trees, and drew oh. strange powers from their still beating hearts. And no one would ever see them again. Cool story. Now, let's see what my book has to say about it. Time for some extra lore. I can fill us in. Here we go. Skooksroa, Woodwife, page 46. Oh, it's me. Oh my god, it's like someone's in the room with me. <clears throat> Here she is in the book. Smash? 
The Nordic countryside is dominated by the deep dark forest and over its silent green expanse, the woodwife rules supreme. She's indisputably part of the forest and perhaps it is part of her. She can take the form of a tree, a moss covered rock or an animal. In her more human form, the woodwife sometimes appears as an old troll woman with long drooping breasts, <laughs> which she is in the habit of throwing over her back to keep them out of the way. More commonly, however, she appears in the guise of a very beautiful woman. But there is always some- Oh, this reminds me of Game of Thrones. Right? That old lady who like, Look, now I'm all beautiful. And then it's like, I'm like 180 years old. Long breasts. Uh, there's always something not quite right about her, however fair she may look. Her skin can have a greenish glow, and her back can be covered with bark, or hollowed out like a decaying tree trunk. At other times, she has a tail, or the hooves of a goat. Oh, she has hooves in this picture. The woodwife has power over the prey in the forest, which is why it is important for a hunter to keep on her good side. An offering in the form of a coin left on a tree stump, or a portion of food, can mean successful hunting. And the hunter who has gained her favor can freely shoot as much game as he wishes. However, certain animals, frequently wood grouse or deer, belong to the woodwife and stand under her protection. They are enchanted and cannot be shot, however hard the hunter tries. The gun seems to miss, or the shot passes right through the animal. Anyone who does manage to bring down one of these enchanted animals will face the fury of the woodwife. Oh, that's a cool picture. <clears throat> Whoever enters the forest warden's domain does so on her terms. Like all na nature spirits, she is unpredictable and can be mischievous as well as helpful. If she is in the right frame of mind, she will warn a charcoal burner when his charcoal stack had caught fire. Look after children who have lost their way in the forest and help the girls tending the cattle find their runaway cows. But at the same time, a woodwife will try to gain control over anyone in the forest. She distorts their vision so they lose their way and wander round and round in circles. Some never find their way home and disappear forever into the depths of the forest. There's only one remedy, to turn your jacket inside out, whereupon you will suddenly awake as if from a dream and find yourself on the right path again. There's always something really weird, right? There's always some weird thing like, oh, easy, like, just turn your jacket inside out. Whoever has fallen under the spell of the forest spirit once will for always have a longing for the forest and its solitude and will never quite be the same again. Occasionally, here we go, the sprite will reveal herself to the men who are working in the forest, huntsmen, lumberjacks, and charcoal burners, when they are sitting alone by their fire in the evening. Then, she shows herself in her most beautiful form and tries to seduce them. A mortal who has enjoyed the company of a woodwife will sometimes become introverted and quiet, for his soul has stayed with her. more info about if you're a hunter. Some have a child with a woodwife, and these children are said to be bigger and stronger and have a larger appetite than other people. She's a bit of a slut, eh? And then there's a little text here. That's just a quote. I like her. Can you please show us her picture again? No. Go Google it, you horny bastard. This guy's ready with the gazo. <laughs> so I guess this is the village. That has kind of fallen to ruin after she fucked it all up. Okay.
You fucking asshole! What, just cause I stand? For a second? Chase me? What is this? Okay, no light, no light, no light. It's the light. <laughs> oh my god. That uh, really scared me. Chill. Okay. Oh shit, could I have peeked out that window? Oh no, I'm sad. I'm sad. I have to restart from checkpoint. No! Nah, you couldn't? Ah, okay. Never mind. Ooh! I have to make a potion. <gasps> okay. Uh, sword. Popat. This one. And then we need a sword. I wonder if it's this one. And then something at the bottom. You. I got it. Hell yeah, Grossman. What's your pen? Okay, triangle square. Three little circles. Uh, not triangle. Oh my god, there is a triangle, but there's also you. Square. Triangle. Three little circles. Easy.
Thank you. No. I shall not. I shall not stretch. Drink lots of water, Grossman. If you're trying to stay awake. Whoa! still small right now or am I not really under <laughs> understanding the size thing I think I'm just like both sometimes I'm small sometimes I'm big <laughs> oh I saw dead bodies this morning I I woke up and I wasn't quite awake and I opened reddit <clears throat> And there was a post at the top, and like, I'm just like, I was just like, I just need to stay awake here, like, I'm just gonna look at a couple of Reddit posts. And, um, like, the top post was like, something about some beautiful family, and I was like, ah, oh. and I clicked on it. And it's like this family portrait, and I was like, oh, okay, and I scrolled down, and it's just a picture of them dead. And I just saw one of the faces, and I was like, oh shit, and I closed it. And, um, it was a post on uh, the subreddit called Noah Get the Boat, which is about how humanity sucks. And it was because of a shooting. Um, and the comments just filled with people like, they should show this in the new media. And like, I get it, but it's like, no, that was fucking horrific. Like, they, this is all a thing about, like, politics, and that's why they want it. But like, it was fucking... And I have that face now ingrained in my head. And then I looked back and I was like, why the fuck? And I looked at the post and there's this tiny little red text in the bottom left corner of the title that says, not safe for life. <laughs> and, and if it's NSFL, it means it's like bad gore. And I, uh, I was too tired to have seen that. So I was just like, ah! And so now I've seen that and that was fucking terrible. <laughs> Great way to wake up. Just a quick, like, a quick murder scene, you know? Yo, speedrun's getting traumatized in the morning. I don't think I'll ever beat this. It was honestly like 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. That family, Jay. 
really sad story, but fuck it, let's not talk about that. <clears throat> there's this thing, actually, let's talk about it. No, but there's this thing on Reddit, I find, where like, there's sudden, they're like, there's a lot of people on Reddit who are really okay with like, gore, if it's in like, the sense of like, war, or shootings, where, where they think it's like a good cause, and like, I get the cause, obviously, but I find it kind of like, insane that they also are like, everyone needs to see this, and it's like, I'm fully against the war in Ukraine without having to see all, all this, like, I don't have to see this in order to understand, you know, like, I know what's going on. But there's this, like, mentality that, like, this needs to be on the front page. Everyone needs to see this. It's like, no, you don't have to traumatize everyone. Someone doesn't have to be traumatized and have to see this in order for them to understand. Like, and I, I, again, I get the point of it, but there's this mentality that, like, gore is okay and needs to be seen in certain instances. And I'm like, no, no, it doesn't. Like, people don't have to see this. In this case, it's about, yeah, U.S. gun laws, and it's like, people have to see this, and it's like, fuck, man, Reddit is used by others than just Americans. Why do we all have to see this? Like, this is terrible. It sucks for this family to be used in this way as well. Like, it's just, uh, I have very mixed emotions about it. Anyway, that's it. I need to get that off my chest, because I feel kind of weird today because of it. <laughs> I think this is if we keep going. I think this... ...is extra. Ooh! Maybe about the village? Dear diary. I am so in love with him. I cannot even describe it. It feels like he loves me too. Our village still tries to heal its wounds from the dark days. But at least me and my love survived and have each other. After the horrible witch hunt, we thought we were safe. We thought we would have peace. But then the plague came to our village. It feels like the plague is some kind of punishment for our sins. Maybe we deserve this. People say they have seen an old woman with a rake at night. Every house she passes, people inside. Oh, get we saw sick. her. I hope she does not come to my house. We saw her staring at us in the background. Every morning, someone new has fallen ill, and shortly thereafter, they die. We do not even dare to give them a proper funeral. It is horrible. The dead are rising from their graves, and they eat the ones left alive. I have locked myself in the house. I got separated from my love. I wish I could be with him. I hope I can meet him in the next life. I'm out of food, and the dead are right outside my door. I miss him so much. Oh, you think this is her? Oh, I see a mouse hiding here. Hello. Why the fuck am I watching this sad ass game so early in the day? Hey, listen, man, you and me both. 
<laughs> I thought this was a chill morning game. And then yesterday I'm just fucking <laughs> bawling on stream. Whoa! Okay, we have to run. God, I gotta get myself cleaned up. Oh, there it is. That's what we keep seeing drawings of. Or this way. Let's go this way. They're really warning me not to go into these places. Ah! Okay. Sorry, I need to I need to Hello guys. You're only attracted to light, right? Right, right, right! <gasps> Holy shit! Ah! Okay. Am I meant to go down there? I'm not sure. I think I'm meant to lure them into the hole. There's one right here. No, I think I meant to go down here. Oh my god! Oh, I'm back. What? <laughs> oh, my lord! Is that it? <laughs> Felt a bit unnecessary. <laughs> oh, you have to go two meters to the left. Pick this up and put it back up. <laughs> oh, I can't jump back up.
Rats. I'll use the rats to guide me. Maybe? I don't know. Et chilo miel. Extra, please. Or what's... No, nothing's in here. We're good. Welcome, Inky Grabs. We're out. We're good. I hated that place. Ah! Hello, guys. Oh? What the fuck? What happened to you? I can't see. Oh, they have! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it freaked me out the way she moved. First I see dead people on Reddit, and now I'm doing this. This is such a dark day. <laughs> this is such... You know, this is tough here. Alright. Ah! This is a very dark uh, chapter, to be honest. My controller's disconnected. Yeah, uh, sorry. That means God bless, chat. Yep, I know what that means. Uh, okay, sorry. You're all Swedish, are you? Oh, this is a cool mural. Let me explain to you how this works, Torrance. There are other people in here as well. I am not just streaming to you. These other people, they're not AI, you know. They're not here for you. They're people from other countries. And they're also watching. And they don't all necessarily know Swedish. No, I was kidding. Yeah, sure, it turns. Sure. I don't think this is where I'm meant to be making- Oh wait, no it is! I can climb above it. See ya. Turk. 
Turkish, I have no clue about Swedish. What turns? <laughs> what the hell? Man? <laughs> I'm happy to believe in this place. Something to. Can I go back? Oh, they're all coming for me. Oh no. Oh no, okay, they're just coming to look. Here running. No? Well, okay. Wait, what am I meant to do? Let me find the other one that looks like this. Okay. Well, what was the point of that? Okay. Oh, I mean, they fall here. Too much weight. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh shit, we're meant to fall here? Uh, sorry guys. <laughs> it's my, it's my timing. Cut! Everyone back to original positions! Who is this fucking extra? Who found this guy? You're out of here! Build the bridge, we'll be back after lunch. Yeah, the director comes in. Oh, that was nice. Did you hear that? Cracked my chest. Oh, there's a uh, an eclipse. It's high real quick. Well, we're meant to find your sister, man. What are you, what are you doing here? <laughs> he doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> yeah, Ula takes some shrooms. Don't worry, little moon, I'm coming. Just, just hold on. Why do I feel like I'm meant to stay in the shadows or something? Or what? I'm meant to go in the water? Oh shit.
Oh my god! Man, stop fucking around. Where is your sister? <laughs> it's me. Oh, I'm, I'm, she's like. Wow, this is a really, really cool fight. He's in the boat with me. of steel on this kid. <laughs> Push her off! What am I- what do you mean om nom nom? What am I meant to do there? What the fuck is this insta-death? Okay. What? Okay, you're starting to- It's a different one every time! What the fuck is this? What the actual hell is this? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one I'm okay with. I found her.
this is just a game of chance. If I if if I don't happen to get the right, is this something I'm meant to see? If I don't happen to get the right one, I'm just fucked. You can see it? Can I? What am I meant to look out for? They all look the same. Is it her? Oh, it's her. She has some sort of glow coming out of her. It's not a game of chance. We're good chat. Oh my god, I've been giving an extra chance. Okay. Thank you. This looks great on stream. She's waking up! <laughs> Twitch couldn't come with AV1 encoding sooner, man. They've come with it for YouTube now, but... You nerfed yourself. Uh, they've come with it for YouTube now, but YouTube is like the last place it needs it. They already had such a good bit bitrate as it was, so... It'll look even better, you know, but... Twitch is where you really want it. Low bitrate. It could have been just the two. I don't think they needed this third one. This third stage went on a little long. The two was good because the second one was fairly different, you know? And then after that, I thought, eh. Cool, though. Really, really cool boss. The darkness. Reach the mountain. <sighs> he could finally find his sister.
she better be here. This better be not be some sort of like <laughs> metaphor for like overcoming her grief, the grief of her dying or something. I swear As to God. reached the summit, Ola felt regret. Why? Oh, we're back here. Why do I feel regret? Okay. Uh-huh. Regret could not stop the woman from drowning her child. Shapeshifter in the forest. Now the mountain stood before him, and he wished he could ask their forgiveness. He had reached the end that Tuva had pointed him towards. Now, entering the halls of the mountain, Ulle was ready to find his sister. Can't back out of this. Hello? But instead he got stuck staring at a painting for the rest of his life. What what is this? He had reached the end that Tuva had pointed him towards. Now, entering the halls of the mountain, Ulle was ready to find his sister. Okay, I'm clearly meant to do something. What am I meant to do? Ola doesn't seem very ready. <laughs> He's not really. What is this? Nothing does anything, and I'm not seeing any prompt. I'm seeing scratch marks on the floor. I can really look around. Nothing above me. I'm some rocks. Nothing on the right. Oh! Oh, it's the second part. Bloody, and at his wit's end, King Nils came to a witch's house on the outskirts of his kingdom. So this king uh, lost his wife, and then his son was all happy, the only thing that was keeping joy in his life. And then his son got sick, and he started to roam the lands, killing all kinds of women and stuff, looking for drugs to save his son. Um, and now he's going to a witch's house. And it's midsummer. He fell to his knees, 
begging the witch to help cure his son, and she agreed. The witch explained that the flower held tremendous power that could only very carefully be used for good. The witch instructed he only use a single petal. Using the whole bloom would only invite death. Ulrich began to recover, but discontent at the royal line had grown in the kingdom following King Nils' bloody campaign. The next day, King Nils found his son dead, and the last light holding his darkness at bay was snuffed out. Heartbroken, King Nils turned to the bloom which had promised life, and instead saw it as an escape from his suffering. The witch, having come to visit the king and the prince, looked at the nightmarish scene in despair. She raised a mountain on top of King Nils and shackled him using the same bramble that he let loose upon the kingdom. <laughs> and to this day, the trolls still feed him as punishment for his evil deed. They feed him. Long ago, there was a peaceful kingdom that lacked an heir to the oh, throne. Oh, this is the original story. King Nip. She gave I'll just go speed run of it. Longed for son. And then she died. Magdalena succumbed to the late Love of his life is gone. Weighed down by sorrow. Ulrich grows into a young boy and he's sad. Prince was the only th Yeah, keeps him happy. One day. Oh shit, Ulrich's sick. There was rumors. King Nils. Search the whole kingdom. He for starts the uh, to know it. killing women and witches, looking for His meds. Was lined with the witches he and had then slain. he stabs a. But the yep. flower was nowhere He's to searching. be found. Um, I'm just gonna get a sweater. Okay, bye. No? Oh, okay, bye. So now I guess I'm in the mountain. In his little village in the mountain. The king's, uh... Village where the king is being fed as punishment. Question is, what's he being fed? Yeah. They did look very happy.
I need the hands for the clock, please. Hello? Oh. Okay. Ule, we're looking for you. Ule, we're looking for your sister, man. What are you doing? Saw a number here. Two. I swear I saw one somewhere else as well. X. It's locked. Where's the other hand? Struggle with this part, no spoilers. Huh? Oh, there's more stuff here. It's a bark. Oh, you can click X. Yeah, I mean, I need the other one now. I finish the time. A cup, a thing, a sword. So we've got a cup. has six on it a cup a thing a sword so six huh <laughs> ten six to ten Was it six? Six. Two. Ten. I'm a fucking beast. Is the door not the door that opened? Thanks, guys. Thanks. 
Something opened though, and I don't know what it was. Oh, wait, what? Oh, a key! This is really cool. Cool perspective.
mountain king who was meant to be hidden forever was now revealed. He just had to reach the sack before Lilimur ended up as the giant's dinner. What? So his punishment is to eat humans? Come on, Ole, hurry! up no no but they they also said the the trolls or giants or whatever are feeding him as punishment we made it she's alive to make him puke. Or do we go into his mouth? Or is she dead? Who knows? Uh-oh. Hello. Hello, it is me. It is me, your son. No? You're not gonna fall for that? the music Ooh, it's like a custom version okay sorry I'm I'm enjoying the music too much holy shit Yo, he tracks! He tracks movement! This guy, this guy's been sniping. Yeah, but he, 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 he shoots ahead, you know? Great music for this. Look at that, he tried to track me ahead. Oh. You're pretty good, Papa. I'll give you that. 
Now give me back my sister. Way they fall, almost as it on beat as well. The rocks are in sync with the beat. Watch next time. Oh, that's in sync as well. They've really timed it. Oh, oh my God, this is oh, this is really satisfying. Oh. What the fuck am I meant to do there? Okay. It goes again! Oh, this is this is so nice I wasn't really sure if I was doing that unnecessarily.
difficult. I really like this. Bramble weakened. The Mountain King saw clearly for the first time in centuries. And what he saw reminded him of his beloved son. He would not lose him again. This time, King Nils would overcome the darkness. So he throws him aside like he's nothing. Dad, I need you to throw up. The source of the curse blossom. King Nils tore the bramble rooted in his back and brought it all to an end. The only way to get to Lilimur was now up oh. and in. Jump to his beard? Oh yeah, it's wiggling. I'm gonna jump to his beard. I don't know if he'll let me, who he thinks reminds him of his son.
It's this Jumanji moment. Tuva had one last gift to give to Ole. Frightened by her memories. This is the setup for the she sequel. For her brother's comfort. But he was nowhere to be found. No. He wouldn't. He wouldn't go after all he went through. After sh oh, this is my collectibles. Fuck, I should have checked how old. Yo, Ule, wait, this is years later. Ule grew. He's nine on this. He's he's at a growth spurt. Yeah, this is this is a year later. Cause last time he was only up at the eight and he or was it even seven? Yeah, there's a growth spurt. Okay, so this is a year yearish later, I think. No, he's just been for a piss. He's gonna show up behind her. However, the darkness outside did not scare her. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, trolled ya. It's just peeing. Because she knew she had her brother. Oh, okay. Another adventure. Let's go get killed, Lila Moore. Oh, what an amazing game! I I loved it. Such a good game. Mmm, mmm, I love this. You know, uh, the 
the woman who gave me the light, the girl who gave me the light. And, um... And then saved me in the end. Tuva, yeah. What was she? Let me see if it says anything about her here. Is Tuva just the name of her? Is she, like, is that it? Yeah, it might be original to the game. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I've got no Tuva here. I think she was just a fairy. Fairy. Such a good game! Thanks for the 25 subs. Much love. It's a hundra. Did you enjoy the game, Drachen? Great game. Did you ever figure out if you had to kill the hot babe witch? I believe you did, yeah. Ah. Uh... Oh, cry. You weren't here yesterday, were you? I, I almost think the first half is a little better than the second half. I think the worst part of the game, actually, which is funny because it was entertaining, was the village part. It wasn't bad, but it, yeah, it, it there's a part there where it fell off a little um, during like the third phase before the Mountain King. Um, but like, whew. What a game. This this game is um, still like a 10 out of 10 to me. It's an amazing game. An amazing game. Um, honestly, I, I'm... Oh. This needs to win all the rewards. Rue, Marco. He just shows up, T-posing. <laughs> this needs to win all the rewards. It only has 600 reviews? That's not enough. The... Not the folklore, the, the mythology, I guess. Can I call it that? Best game I've played in a few years. The mythology throughout is a joy to experience. What an emotional journey. 10 out of 10. What do we think? Oh. Also great music. Made me cry several times. Oh, what a great game.
Animes. Any negative review here? I will find them. Doesn't work well with keyboard and mouse, clearly built for a console. The visuals are great. However, the gameplay feels clunky and not fleshed out. Wrong? Too short, like me. Too short? How much, how much is this game? How much is this game? Thirty euro. Pretty steep. But for a game of this kind of emotional quality, listen, if you're too plastic to experience it, then that's on you. So let's go back here. How do I, how do I view all? Here we go. For such quality, I don't know what people want. Gamers are fucking, they're fucking spoiled. Unfortunately, this is just worse Little Nightmares with a less original premise and samey puzzles. Fuck you. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is not a worse Little Nightmares. What do you mean a, a less original premise? What the fuck are you on about? What part of this didn't feel original? What, because it's all based on folklore? Is that why he's like, oh, oh, this guy. Comments are disabled for this review. Okay. found the gameplay to be very dated and unenjoyable. The art style and vibe is indeed great, and I love the Nordic horror fairy tale context. It's just the gameplay was fun rather than a clunky requirement to progress progress the story. I don't know. I don't think it felt clunky. I've got a couple people here saying it's clunky. This is this is weird. What weird people. <laughs> I imagine if you're on keyboard, it probably is, actually. I did experience that early on where I was like, this is a controller game, isn't it? Extremely atmospheric game. Fresh take for a horror story. Really enjoyed playing this game. The music, the setting, the lore were so fa fascinating. Definitely recommend to play or at least see a let's play. Yeah. This is definitely a game where I don't think you need to buy it necessarily. It's ve a very good let's play game. At such a steep price especially. Um, but fuck if it wasn't good. This was great. Wonderful game. Absolutely wonderful game. Let's clap. Chat, clap. <laughs>